You know, Jesus simply did not run around telling people to go and sin no more. You 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 go and sin. That's a lie that has metastasized itself to the very bone marrow of American Christianity. Unconventional Pastor Paul, I take the Bible and put it into context so it can no longer be used to bully and traumatize human beings. As I was growing up in American evangelicalism, I used to find myself a lot thinking, those bad people out there really seem to love each other. I wish we could love people too. But I knew that my God required disapproving of anybody not a part of my religious sect. And that was because my religious teachers knew absolutely nothing about the personhood of Jesus. In John chapter 8, we see the good religious people of the community coming to Jesus and saying, Are we right to say you have a demon and are a Samaritan? Today, it would be something like you're delusional and you support Democrats. Because that's what religious people are taught to do in American Christianity. So let me ask you. If Jesus was running around telling every sinner they needed to stop sinning, you go and sin no more, you go and sin no more, you go and sin no more. Why would the good religious law giving, shame throwing people of the culture call him a demon and an outcast? And if you claim to be a Christian, which means one who strives to look like Christ, when was the last time a good religious person told you you were being too kind to sinners? Because if that's not a part of your Christian experience, then you must not be living life as Christ. To those sitting in evangelicalism and American Christianity and saying something feels a little bit off here, it is off. God is not mad at you. And no God anywhere in the universe will be mad if you run from that religion as fast as you can. And if they say, you must have a demon and are a Samaritan, well then just thank them for treating you the way good religious people treated Jesus Christ.